Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's talk hook up is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano rods and reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sanders. Welcome back. Hour number two, Let's Talk Hookup, right here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Pete Gray here, along with Rock Cod, Mac- Rick Maxa, in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here, overlooking the Fisherman's Landing and the Liberty and all the boats. Every Everybody is in right now. I must be Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to see every that. boat in the fleet... Now would be the time. Yeah. Come on down to uh, the San Diego landings and check them out. Pretty fun time of year to see all, all the boys here. And, yeah, like you say, it's not very often. Christ- yeah. Christmas time. That's a that's about a, the only time you can count on every rope being yeah, on the dock. for sure. And uh, Captain Tara Takeuchi is here from the Liberty. And it's also Christmas time. Monday is the only time that the Everingham Brothers bait receiver is closed. Okay. Did you know that? I, yeah, I, yeah. I would think so. Yeah. Those guys work really they work, hard. They, they're amazing. 24-7, 364. 364. 364. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them have Christmas off for Man. sure. Yeah. Those we are t- the hardest, hardest working dudes. Oh, unbelievable. We, keep us alive. Yeah. We talk about it every show, yeah. but it's so easy to take for granted what they do. I mean, just think about... Yeah. Think about the volume of fish that they have to catch yeah. to keep us all going, yep. and it's just always there, and it's killer. And you know that bait is, you know, I mean, they're continually innovating and changing boxes and changing practices and how they wrap it and how they load it, and they're just, they're the best in the world at it. Yeah. They're going all plastic on the boxes now. I so, know, yeah, really. which is cool, yeah. Uh, saw the guys out there really? uh, okay. on Tuesday evening and uh, plastic. I mean, that's the thing. They're, they're 100% yeah. innovating yeah. all the time. Yeah, I mean, all the, the, design, time. the design changes, the everything, everything. I yeah. mean, they, they do anything they can to make the bait better. And always put money back into it. They're the best. See if the sea lions can break through those, huh? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no way. Yeah, those, no comment. <laughs> those, no way. Those, hey, things are, those things are strong. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a great time here this morning. Again, if you want to join us, it's been a very busy morning with Captain Taro. Phones have been packed since the start, and we're going to keep it that way. Two 213-432-1090. That's how you reach us on the phones. Again, 213-432-1090 is our phone number. Or send us a text on that Let's Talk Hookup app, man. We mentioned it before. Free download, easy to do. As soon as you fire up the app, one of the first tabs you're going to see is text the show. Just make sure you include your contact information along with your question for Captain Taro so we can get a hold of you if you win that big prize. And what a prize it is. One lucky caller or texter at the end of today's show is going to win a full day trip going fishing on board the Liberty at a Fisherman's Landing. How cool is that? Yeah, for sure. Well, let's find out what's biting. You got it, man. It's time for our FishDope.com report, which today sponsored by Norris Lithium Batteries. They're here in Southern California, designed specifically for marine use. Norris Lithium features prismatic cells for extreme durability, solid connections, longevity, and reliability. The Norris Guardian app is an advanced management system that allows you to monitor the health and charging status on your phone. Norris also has a complete line of kayak and electric reel batteries. Make an investment in the best for your boat with Norisk Lithium. Check NorriskLithium.com or go see the Trolling Motor Doctor or Angler's Marine for your Norisk Lithium batteries. We're going to start up with our private boater buddy, Captain Mark Wish of Pacific Edge is on the line. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Ricky, Pete, Taro. Great show. Having a lot of fun listening to you guys there. Good morning. So, uh, for our first report of the official winter season, I gotta let you know, we, we had some real winter weather to report on. Man, we had some world class thunderstorms go rolling through here, just absolutely awesome. And, uh, a lot of rain with them, but fortunately, not too much wind, which means our water didn't get beat up too bad at all. And, uh, you know, surprisingly, water temps along the coast, man, they're holding up really good for this time of year. A lot of 62, some 63, and that weather buoy below Clemente even hit 64 for a couple days this week, which is pretty tasty for this time of year. It bodes well for sure. Um, not too much wind here after Christmas, you know, with this whole storm blowing through. So I'm guessing a lot of that new tackle is going to get tested out. You know, you guys uh, have some extra time off there, so it's going to be fun to see what shows up. Not a whole lot of hot reports this week, given the weather we've had. 
So Danny called me yesterday with a report from up in Santa Monica Bay, wide open sculpin fishing and sloppy conditions in the rain. That's <laughs> that's kind of our winter fare here sometimes. But uh, there's also been some really good local bass fishing. The uh, warm and clean water again, man, it's got those sand bass and calco bass really biting on some of these local spots. Guys fishing a plastic with a strip of squid on it or a live squid on a wet head. I mean, these guys are just putting the wood to these bass right now. I'd, I'd say for sure this has been some of the best winter bass fishing we've had in quite a number of years. And uh, over at Catalina, uh, conditions were really subpar earlier this week before the storm. The uh, residual big swell had the water really stirred up over there. And uh, now with the runoff, you know, Catalina just got blasted with some heavy showers. There's going to be a tremendous amount of runoff coming down all the canyons that water along the beach is really going to be washed out for a little bit. So uh, I'm guessing our incredibly good halibut fishing is probably going to take a break for a little while while conditions straighten back out. But, again, nice weather coming these next few days and uh, not not too much swell on it. So it will be cleaning up. So uh, that's kind of this week's report. want to wish everybody a really Merry Christmas. And uh, we'll be talking to you guys next week with a little bit more to report. Yeah, Take man. That. And, uh, of course, fishdope.com uh, always has the, the stuff. 724, 365 days a year, fishdope.com is on it. And right now is your last chance, your last week to take advantage of that price increase. They're going to one, uh, 199. They're raising it 40 bucks, uh, uh, 30 bucks, uh, 199 to 190 from 169 to 199. But if you want to extend your membership, uh, no matter whether your membership expires in August, or September, you want to add an extra year at the current price of 169. Uh, you can take advantage of that right now uh, if you do it before the end of the year. And then also, if you want to save that f- uh, 30 bucks off the membership, use the code Hookup Now. Lowercase, no space. Hookup Now is your $30 code now for FishDope.com new memberships. And Mark, how do we find you? Well, Pete, we're in Huntington Beach. You're on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone numbers. Area code 714-840-4262, website specificedgetackle.com. And uh, I'll be listening in tomorrow for the Christmas Spectacular. And, Ricky, you know, I, I heard you last week saying, you know, you're not getting a lot of sleep and you're pretty cranky and you're going to be really edgy on that buzzer, man. You, you've been working out the trigger finger. You know, you trigger, trigger finger is still ready? sharp. Trigger finger still incredibly sharp, but I did tell Pete, like, man, I don't even want to say it out loud. I don't want to knock on wood. Yeah. Three nights in a row, boy, both boys slept the whole night through. Like, wow. I'm feeling it, man. Eight hours in a row, three <laughs> nights in a row. I'm a new man. Yeah. But nice. my, my trigger finger is still very sharp. I'm, yeah. I'm going to channel back to last week in my gray fog on my uh, – on my quickness to yeah. throw out well, a buzzer. We'll miss you, Mark, for totally, the Mark. Christmas Spectacular tomorrow. Merry Christmas, you know, buddy. I'm, I'm going to miss doing it with you guys. It's, I mean, how many years did we do that together? 25 oh, at least. So we've got to take a little break here once in a while. All right. Yeah, so you earned it. Way. Yeah, but you got to come back next year. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Pre- appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you, and we'll talk to you next Saturday before the end of the year. You got it, buddy. All right. See you guys. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Hey, well, while we're waiting for Marcos from Seaforth, we had a great text come through. This one is, good morning, Taro. Uh, I'm sure that there's a ton of tuna that get caught um, and get put down below the decks on the Liberty. One of the things I love about the boat is you guys do have an RSW fish hold. My question is, have you ever maxed out the hold on any of your trips yet? That's from Mike, <laughs> and, Mike and Rose me. Wow. Uh, yeah, we've done yeah? that se- several times. Where you like, no we've, we've, we've been fortunate sev, 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 several times, yeah. So wow. where it's like we can't fit another another yeah, one in. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we, we I think we did it twice this last year. Unbelievable. On the same chart charter group, so it was kind of cool. Yeah. How how much fish is that? Uh, two and a half tons a side. <laughs> So that's five tons of fish. I believe so, yeah. Wow. That's unreal. Yeah. That's a lot of that's fish. That's unreal, man. That's a lot of fish. Yeah. Hey, uh, another one on, on fish and care here uh, from Russ and Mira Mesa. He says, Merry Christmas, everyone. My buddy and I love fishing on the Liberty. Question for Taro. What are the luck? If you're lucky enough to catch a 100-plus pound tuna, can the crew clean it on the way in, or do we need to make arrangements? So that's a, a good question to uh, ask a very about good question. Um, fish care on the Liberty. 
we we uh, do off off offer the the uh, service from 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 our guys. You, you know, we we def we we definitely do it on on our full full day trips. Um, but we also recom- recommend that they bring it to a processor. Um, just, and will the processors meet you? You would have to look on their websites, like for and make example, prior arrangements. and make prior make prior arrangements. And there's some of the processors will will accept drop off, um, and you just have to make make sure during that time of year they 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 are accepting it. Um, but but you, know, you do fillet on the we boat. We do fillet on the boat, yes. Yeah. Yes. But but a, a, hundred, a beautiful fish, like a, a hundred a beautiful plus pounder, hundred, 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 you would probably recommend. I, I would it. highly recom, rec, recommend the pro- processor. A processor. Yeah. And, and and it's just for 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 that grade of fish, for the product that you're gonna get, vacuum sealed, all you know, perfect for the just go right to the freezer with it or keep some out for, you know, for for dinner the next few days and it, it, it's just the amount of time that you don't have to deal with doing it yourself of vacuum vacuum sealing and trim trimming out because we're we are all, all only allowed to do x x x x amount mm-hmm. be, because we have to abide by the you know our, our regulations as and far as cutting the, the fish. Yeah, you you so. you're going to be left with a lot of stuff: the skin, the, the belly, the skin, the, the this, belly, the, the the collar. You, yeah, you would have to trim it home, and you know there's there's definitely people that like doing that because it's part of the experience of catching one and doing uh-huh. doing that dressing out of fish. But um for the, for some of the folks like myself, I would just bring it right to the process yeah. uh, and just go and have the pros pros do it that's, too. That's what I think. Like you guys put so much emphasis and care into keeping that fish perfect on yeah. the boat. Like the processor is the last step in that chain. You exactly. know what I mean? Like you, you, you put all the effort into being as professional as possible, keeping it perfect. We'll take it to the professional, let them yeah. finish the job. Yeah, and and our guys are pros too. Right. Not they to say, they yeah, not, totally. not 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 to say that Paul and Ryan. And Mitch and the guys and Corey are are not good at cutting fish, but they are because that's what they do sure. on a daily basis. But as far as the finishing, the vacuum sealing, yeah, the and the trimming, and prior to putting into your freezer or putting into your fridge, going to a process, process, processor will just uh, will just eliminate the waste product you put in your trash can and the right. time in the kitchen after you have to drive home at 9 o'clock at night. And so it, it's kind of one of those things where you just spend the extra money and just have it done. Have it long- what, is, what is your time worth? The longevity of you know the longevity of the product life in the freezer in a 5 mil chamber sealed fisherman's yeah. processing bag too is just flat out going to be greater than a Ziploc or yeah. a food saver at home. It just But not only that, it's because of the ridiculous law that fish and wildlife is now making yeah. you do with yeah. uh, with tuna. Uh, it, it, it's there's a lot of extra work once you get off the boat yeah. if you yeah. have it filleted on the boat. Trying to carry a 150 pounder in a green trash bag is yeah. pretty hard yeah. to yeah. go off the dock. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. When, when you have to keep the loin completely intact and the loin's three and a half feet long, yeah. that's, <laughs> yeah. that make life all that easy. You get a cart. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. yeah. Well, hey, let's continue on with our catch report and find out what's going on over at C4 Sport Fishing. We got Marcos on the line. What's up, Marcos? Good morning, guys. How's everyone doing? We're doing great, buddy. Good. Anxious to hear what's going on at Seaforth. <clears throat> well, I'm first off, you know, guys talking about some serious uh, first world fishing problems there. How do I deal with this 150 pound tuna? I caught on a full day trip that's kept perfectly for me in the fish hold. Yeah, it's tough, you know, but it definitely is like you guys are talking about there. Those processors do such a great job and it's so much easier. I mean, I don't fish all that much anymore, but I remember just taking home like a small yellowtail and cleaning it and what a pain in the butt it was. Yeah. I can't imagine trying to clean a 150 pound tuna in my backyard. Yeah. If you even have a backyard, you know, so. Yeah, but again, you know, like those full days, just the fact that we're even getting those is amazing. It was a great fishing year. Definitely, you know, time for a little break for those guys. I'm sure all the boats are doing boat work and getting ready to go. It's been a little slower on the uh, trips there, but it's definitely picking up this week with a vacation starting. So check the website. New Sea Force is going to be running those half-day trips. We're going to be running those both morning and afternoon for the next couple weeks here. And actually not even a couple weeks at this point, only a little over a week because starting January, again, the... The rockfish, local rockfish is going to be closed, so definitely keep an eye on that. 
if you want to sneak that in, you've got a few, you know, about a week to do that, and we'll be running those trips. Starting in January, we're going to be running those 8 o'clock, or excuse me, 8.30 departures, one trip a day. So definitely check that out and adjust to that accordingly. And we'll be running those as long as you guys are interested in going. So I wish I had a little more exciting fish count for you, but it's been a very good year, and we've had a lot of good fish counts. So now it's just you got people in town that want to get out on the water, get them out there and get some half-day fishing in. And I might add, too, if you're looking for the last-minute Christmas gift, you know, Christmas Eve tomorrow, uh, go over to C4 Sport Fish and get a gift <coughs> certificate or totally. shop in the tax <laughs> shop, right? Absolutely. We'll be open until 1.30 tomorrow. We're going to get that afternoon whale watching and then go home. Uh, I'm going to be here all day, make sure that some of those guys get the day off. And I'll be here if you want to come say hi and get a gift card. If you want to get, pick up some stuff in the tackle shop there, come on in and say hi. We'd love to see you guys and get you, you know, your fisherman on your list there. If you got a favorite fisherman or a few of them, gift cards are always good. You can use them in the tackle shop. You can use them for different trips. So definitely be here to get those for you tomorrow. Great. All right, Marcos, we sure appreciate it. All your great reports. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, and uh, we'll talk to you next Saturday. Thanks, Marcos. For the the year wrap-up. We will have that year wrap-up. Yeah, it'll actually be a – hopefully, you know, we can talk about all the great fishing we had this year and just continue into next year the way it's been the last few years here. I think that this was the easiest year of Marco's catch reports. It seemed like for <laughs> months in a row, it was just like, well, yeah, pretty great fishing here. I mean, the half day, the half day was excellent. We had good calico bass fishing. Full day had a hundred yellowfin tuna, and then every day and a half trip had limits of bluefin. Like, yeah. I feel like we heard that same report over and over and over. It'll be a fun, uh, it'll be a fun reflection on last year. Well, what you all know is I recorded about six reports at the beginning of the year and then just took a 15-minute break every Saturday. <laughs> Life is good. Marcos, yep. great job, buddy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas Marcos. All right. Well, you guys, too. I'll talk to you next Saturday. Yeah, All, right. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our catch for today. Hey, want to remind you, sponsored by Dana Landing on Mission Bay. That's your true one-stop shop for everything that you need to go fishing. A complete saltwater tackle shop. They have a full deli, snacks, beverages, ice, and boating supplies. And for your freshwater tackle needs, check out East County Bay bait and tackle plus the brand new lemon grove bait and tackle all stores are fully stocked with the products and know-how for a successful time on the water dana landing is right across on the lawn tramp in mission bay and uh from the in uh ECBT is at the end of the 67 freeway at Maple View and Lakeside. And Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, they're on Broadway and Lemon Grove. Check DanaLanding.com for more information. They have a new employee over at ECBT. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty knowledgeable, too. Yeah, yeah. Been yeah. around been around the block yeah, a time yeah. or two. He fishes yeah. pretty good. Yeah. He, he, um, guy that probably everybody knows, right? Yeah. Captain Bruce Smith. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, ran the fortune. Uh, Shogun, the fortune. I mean, Bruce has been around for a long yeah. time. What did he run before that? I mean, all kinds of stuff but and now he's like Real a hardcore hard. freshwater bass oh, i see him at the lake quite a bit yeah, yeah. and uh he is he's is now an employee at east county bait and tackle and uh i think you could get some real good knowledge if you no want an ecbt man. from bruce i'm as excited to be able to get eastern sierra info out of him as i am <laughs> yeah. getting yeah. san vicente and el cap info that's pretty cool pyramid too i went many, go, I went many times the pyramid with bruce and uh, <laughs> oh boy he knows his stuff yeah. there too so yeah go go check it out yeah, ecbt gr- Great addition to the team, yeah. and like you say, Bruce, so into freshwater bass fishing. That's a great fit all the way around. I think that's awesome. Yeah, very, very cool. For sure. Well, phones are packed up. They want to talk to Tara. Let's jump into it, Rick. How about this time we talk to John? He's calling us from Rancho San Diego. Good morning, John. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Great show. Captain Taro, great to hear from you. Love fishing on on the Liberty. Uh, I also fish on other full-day boats in the, in San Diego quite often, and uh, I was wondering if you are more competitive or more collaborative with the uh some of your adversaries out on the water do you guys you know as people who watch the fish counts every day we kind of hop on boats when we can based upon who's hot and i do you get a little bit competitive or do you guys work together i i would say i'm competitive by nature you know i'm coming from a sports back back background basketball type back back background i'm just competitive by competitive by nature but you know have, having good friends on the water is def, 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 definitely key, and all all of the main full day boats, we're all in the same group, and we talk to each other, and we help, and and we help each other out. But it, it, every every day for us is a competition. Sure. You know, it, it, we every everybody <laughs> likes to win. So for 
So for me, it's it's a it's 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 a nice blend of both. <laughs> yeah, I would say. I'm always so impressed with how well you guys for to answer you know that that answer was right on. I'm always so impressed with how well everybody works together. When you know, I mean, let's be real, you know, the all the you know clients are picking their fishing trips, yeah. and you know that's a it's a real thing. But you guys, for the greater good of yourselves and for your passengers, like everybody works so well yeah. together. Share an info. This is what they did. With do they the want to? Do you want to get one more than the other guy? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> my absolutely. My yeah. favorite, without question at all, was from a from a bunch of years ago now when Sam and Brian were on the show, and I'm sure that's when Taro was was working on the American Angler, and and I don't remember if it was Sam or Brian who said it best, but they're like, man, we want everybody in the fleet to catch fish. Yeah. As long as we catch one more. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah. I want everybody to be successful as long as I, I mean, got them by one. Yeah. Our steps on the liberty is one don't get skunked two catch more than the other guy and three catch limits yeah, okay. and then four have an awesome fun time there that's you go good. You, i you like know, it those those All are the those are the that's main the credo, factors huh? and that's just the steps that we take first is one don't 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 get skunked so yeah, yeah. so go get them yeah yeah hey thanks a lot for the phone call this morning uh that does free up for question. the first time all yeah. morning a uh, number at 213-432-1090 christian is standing by uh doing all uh, the phones for you 213-432-1090 i thank christian for all his hard work oh, on the totally, phones man. too christian yeah. does such a fantastic jobs for us on saturday and uh, we sure appreciate his hard efforts there on the phones and on the uh on the electronic side of getting let's talk hook up out to our listeners there for sure hey troy and fontana uh says uh, hey pete rick and taro good morning i'm so excited to go fishing on the liberty when will it be back on schedule and what do you think will be the targeting once you start back up bluefin inshore offshore also what's a standard ticket price for veterans our season hopefully will start probably around Valentine's Day. We'll, we'll, we'll just like how I said earlier, we'll probably see how the weather plays out and yeah. see what fishing goes 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 on. But um, we we'll, we're we're looking to be ready by the middle of February. Um, probably doing some local fishing here, some Cornell Island stuff, or seeing how the weather is, and maybe some calling net or stuff stuff like that. But um, our ticket price is all the same, uh, two 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 hundred forty dollars for uh, kids, vet, veterans, and uh, ad- and and adults, and may, mainly mainly because of the prices of the, our permits that we have to buy, we kind of have to keep keep as the e- e- even playing field. Um, just that's just whether so you're fishing the Coronado Islands or offshore. Yeah, yeah, because all 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 of our Mexican pay, 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 paperwork is 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 like all the same. So we we, we kind of have have to keep it at. Yeah. At the same price for everybody. But it's important to note, though, that that price includes your Mexican fishing license, your yep. FMM visa, like all of the things yep. that you're used to having to pay on top of. That's just all wrapped. That's up just into all. It. That's just all wrapped, 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 all, all wrapped up into one. You know, whether we're fishing offshore and you only need a Mexican license, or or if we're fishing the I, 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 the islands and you need. You know your FMM and your Biosphere brace brace bracelet and also your license. It's all wrapped up in the all wrapped, wrapped up, up in, in the ticket in price. That ticket yeah. price. And that Biosphere and FMM is not a cheap program. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, and it gets yeah. more expensive every day. Yes, it does. Yeah, for sure. Hey, uh, Mike Lum from Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea Friends are all is on the line. Good morning, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, uh, Mike. I just wanted to Merry Christmas to you, Taro. Um, I just want to give everybody kind of a recap here. We've been uh, been uh, selling raffle tickets like crazy over the last couple of weeks, thanks to uh, the opportunity to give away Rollo's rod, and we're going to do that tomorrow uh, afternoon. And uh, so this is the last chance. If anybody wants to buy uh, our 2024 raffle tickets, uh, you can do that uh, today. And then if you buy a book of them, if you buy 20 of them, um, then Tim will make sure you get five free tickets and you'll get an entry into win Captain Rollo's Rod, which we're going to do, like I said, tomorrow. And then the winner will be notified tomorrow um, in the early evening, I think, is what he said. He was going to reach out and let the lucky winner know. Just so you guys know, thanks to the efforts and the generosity of everyone, we've been able to add 175 kids to the program this year just nice. on this That's particular awesome. program. So, so we just keep plugging away, and everybody keeps supporting the effort, and uh, no different than than 
what uh, Captain Charo does with making the liberty available to us for the uh, tuna wars each year. Uh, by the way, a multi-year reigning champion uh, run there. Yeah. Um, uh, the other the other guys don't want to play as much because Taro yeah. always yeah. Taro like, oh, Taro keeps up. winning. No, uh, Nebel won last yeah. last last oh, last okay. last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. We had uh, Captain Bob Cook come out, and and he uh, his first time out uh, from the Wicked Tuna deal, and he won, and so that was fantastic. So we've got all three boats are lined up again for this year. If anybody's interested in Tuna Wars 9, uh, the dates are June. We'll depart the evening of the 24th of June, and weigh in as uh, – I think we're at, what, 5, 6 o'clock on the 26th, which is Wednesday. So if anybody's interested, uh, go out to uh, rollokids.org and uh, send a note to Howard, and he'll get you set up on one of the boats and uh, get you signed up. But for today, just wanted to thank everyone for your support of the win uh, Rollo's Rod promotion and uh, the generosity of Cliff Friends family to donate that back to us so we were able to replicate this and just want to let you know it's been a huge success. Anybody that wants in can do that today at 951-264-7382 or send an email to win at org. and all uh, we need is a name and phone number and uh, Tim Baker will call you back and get your tickets and uh, he'll, wrap, he'll wrap those up uh, today and tomorrow, and then we'll, we'll give the rod right away tomorrow. And, of course, all the people that bought into that have all their tickets for the uh, grand raffle drawing, which will be held at day at the docks on April the 7th. So lots of opportunities to win. And uh, like I usually say, uh, the kids win with every ticket that gets bought. So that's sure, really absolutely. the winner. Well, uh, one of the other jobs that Mike Lum has, uh, in addition to Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea, Friends of Rollo, is he is the Norsk Lithium Battery Rep for Southern California. And we were talking to Taro about uh, Norsk and uh, putting Norsk and in, in upgrading his uh, boat, his fast boat into Norsk. Yeah. And uh, uh, Angler's Marine is the place for that, right? Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, Angler's Marine, I, I've been on the phone with them a lot recently. Their their business is growing rapidly in the Norsk category, and uh, so they have all the all the latest and greatest uh, info, and uh, they can help anybody out that wants to know about adding Norsk lithium to their bass boats, and of course all the live scans and live scopes and all the batteries that that are available for that. And those guys know what they're talking about. So. Uh, by all means, uh, check that out. That would be either uh, Angler's Marine in Anaheim or the Trolling Motor Doctor in Lakewood. Uh, both those guys are on top of this, and they can answer your questions. And uh, Taro, uh, at some point here, in the, right after the first year, uh, let you and I talk, and we'll figure out how we get some, some batteries to you. Uh, oh, yeah. You're going to yeah. be spend, spending time out on the water. Um, that's the way to go. I, I had a brief conversation the other day with Kyle Grover, mm-hmm. um, at Angler Marines, and, and as a lot of people know, he, he won the um, the U.S. Open this year, and he was telling me he was fishing Lake Mead last week, fished it back-to-back two days in a row, and uh, his days are usually 10 to 11-hour days, and he's on the electric motor constantly. He fished it two days without charging, and when he checked his app, the Guardian app, he had 80% of his power left Crazy. Yeah. after two full days of fishing. So I yeah. don't know how you can beat that. It's a game changer for for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. All right. So we'll really get the, get Tarl set up with some Norsk and uh, upgrade it to the, the latest and greatest there. Mike Lum, thanks for all your hard work. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thanks. Thanks, right. buddy. Thanks, Mike. Merry Christmas. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. Phone lines are still packed up, and we got a boatload of great text to read. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I'm here to tell you about the 2024 Hall Family Shows. The first show is the Bart Hall Show at the Long Beach Convention Center, January 25th to the 28th. This is a new date for this world-famous show and California's largest outdoor recreation event. The second show is the Bart Hall Show at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, February 15th to the 18th. San Diego's biggest fishing show, biggest boat show, and biggest outdoor recreation event of the year. And finally, the Bart Hall Boat Show, March 
first, second, and third at the Fairplex in Pomona, California's premier boat show with acres of every kind of boat and marine accessory. We want to thank our sponsors, Progressive, Mammoth Lakes, Accurate Fishing Tackle, Convict Lake, Okuma Fishing Tackle, Ram and Jeep Vehicles, Shimano, Costa, Daiwa, the Southern California and San Diego County Ford Dealers, Turner's Outdoorsman, Fisherman's Landing, Bob Sands Fishing Tackle, John Petty, the Angler's Custom Goldsmith. We'll see you at the shows. Hey, we're so lucky here in San Diego. We have fantastic weather and great fishing. We also have three great shops to take care of anglers. Hi, this is Ben, and you will see me at my dad's shop, Dana Landing in Mission Bay. We call it the one-stop shop for a great day in the water because it truly is. Food, bait, tackle, beverages, and more. Our tackle shop, headed by Johnny, is certainly one of the best. We have you covered from bay bass to big tuna. Plus, we have Doug, one of the finest reel repair guys around. For freshwater tackle, Nothing beats East County Bait and Tackle. Jeet and the guys have the best rod and reels, the hottest lures, and live bait. Our newest shop is Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle. Growing their stock of both fresh and saltwater tackle right in the heart of Lemon Grove. ECBT is at the end of the 67 freeway on Maple View and Lakeside. Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle, 94 to Broadway in Lemon Grove. And Dana Landing is next to the Dana Lawn Tramp in Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com for more details. Want to take your catch from fresh to superior grade? This is Robbie Gant from AFCO. We developed the tools for the EKGMA process. Circuit Breaker is specially designed to disable the full length of the fish's spinal cord. The memory-resistant wire of AFCO Circuit Breaker will not bend or kink, even after repeated use. Take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Available at a dealer near you or check out AFCO.com. Like Robbie said, take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Check AFCO.com or your favorite tackle retailer. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Phones have been so packed with Captain Taro. Again, if you want to get through, it's 213-432-1090 or keep those texts rolling in. We were just talking in the break about the Let's Talk Hookup Liberty two-day limited load trips that are super popular. They are. And I asked Taro, are we doing them again in 2024? We we are. After this, we'll uh, sit down and we'll do some dates. And we'll we'll maybe, we we used to go with two trips. Maybe we'll even go up to three if we could. All right. So that, um, but those are so a... cool. Two day limited load. Yeah, and, and that's what it's twenty four or twenty five. We take twenty five, and and it's, I mean that's like having the whole boat to yourself. Yeah, and that's it's horrible. one of those things where we don't do these open party long, long, longer trips quite often. You know, yeah. we might do one or so a month, but they're trips that. You know, we we see the same faces on, and yeah. it's great. It's almost it. We call it an open party trip, but it's almost like a charter because we see the same folks, and it's great. It's just yeah, a great it's time. So. I know. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people really itching to get back on the Liberty after the August one had to get canceled oh, because yeah. of the great hurricane the great of 2023. <laughs> yeah. Right? And it was like yeah, the, the one day that we couldn't get out on the water, <laughs> yeah. and uh, the it hurricane to fell be, right but, in the middle yeah. of that trip. I know, and I felt. So bad for Arnie and his and yeah. all the people that like to follow that trip that weren't able to get out. You yeah. had to cancel that trip, but uh, I know the October one that Dave Dolan smashed uh, yeah, yeah, that, that October trip, crushed it. And Neeb, yeah, I think a Neeb Neeble drove that one, and they had excellent blue 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 bluefin fishing, yeah. beautiful grade, yeah. even some bigger ones. Yeah, and yeah, the uh, the the timing of those trips and just the. And just the luck of those trips as yeah. well have been really good. Yeah. So stay tuned to Let's Talk Hookup and also our, our Let's Talk Hookup uh, website, Let's Talk Hookup.com on our trips page. As soon as we work out the dates with uh, Taro and Fisherman's Landing, we'll get them up there. And I know you'll have it up at the Fisherman's Landing website too. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Hey, um, he must have heard his uh, his commercial rolling, and that's uh, Bart Hall. Just hey. sent me a text here. He said, the Hall family shows have taken scores of fishing trips with our best exhibitors over the last 
76 years. We finally got on the Liberty with Taro and never booked another boat again. We would fish in the off season, but Taro always put us on fish. He was an exceptional angler and skipper. Also, just so you know, Robbie Gant will be showing off all the secrets of the Ikejimi process at pre-show seminars along with Bill Varney. Merry Christmas from Bart. Hey, so, yeah. Merry Christmas. And Bart. I was fortunate enough to go on several of those trips with Bart and the Hall gang yeah. on the Liberty. It was so much fun. Yeah, we had pretty good fishing. Too. Yeah, really awesome. good fishing. The, the thing about Taro's, even in the off season when we're concentrating on rockfish or, or, or something around the islands, he knows these secret spots. It's like, <laughs> man, we're on. How come I can never find spots like this on my boat, right? <laughs> he knows the spots. So uh, thanks, Bart. And uh, we're looking forward to the show coming up in January, too. Uh, the Long Beach uh, Bart Hall show coming up very yeah, like, it's around like the corner. Very soon. Like, uh, very soon like, like four weeks away, yeah, I think. Crazy. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. We'll have a lot more on that coming up here. Phones are packed. They want to talk to Taro. Let's jump into it. Albert La Jolla is up next on Let's Talk. Hook. I have Albert, good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Great show this morning, and I gotta say, uh, um, that that hamburger that you have on the Liberty is freaking killer, dude. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, but it's just amazing. But uh, my question to you, Captain Taro. Uh, oh yeah, but my, my, my question to you, Captain A lot of people Captain are asking Taro, about that hamburger. I want to hear about about what makes that hamburger so oh, special. Dude. It's a half pound wag wag wagyu beef. Burger that that uh, we get from one of the places around town here, Cis, Cis, Cisco, and it, it, it it's it's all Dude, it's half next, half it's next level. <laughs> it's, it's next it's, level. Yeah, it's big. It's big. Yeah, yeah. It's you're big. gonna you're gonna need your bunk on a yeah. We pair it up with the brioche bun and Sarah and the gang do it really really well, and it's a very nice burger. Yeah, yeah and you need a nap afterwards for, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, as part of the program. Yeah. Hey, and, and I'm sorry I cut you off there. You had a question. Yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, Captain Taro, when you're picking out a surface iron, what's something uh, key that you look for? Ooh, that, that's <laughs> that's pretty tough because there's probably, out of the three buckets of jigs I have at my house, there's probably a Ziploc bag full of ones that I have as my go-to. Diamonds. And, yeah, those are the ones that I know I want to fish and I pers- per- per- personally fish. But it... it I look for shape, I look for a nose, but you can't really tell until you just throw the thing in the water and crank. It, it, it's it's you know it's very hard just just to say, um, but I I like the the hips to be a little offset. Um, there's some that I have as a pointed nose for different types of current. There's some that have a flat nose, some for wind. So it's kind of hard to say, but um, you could get you could we could go on about this thing for out out hours but um the main thing that i look for is i cast it in the bay i cast it out and i look to see if it swims or not swimming meaning from side from side to side and not spin around in circles you know when you're cranking at crank, cranking it at various speeds so um that it's kind of hard to do but i have like I said, several buckets of my C class and B class jigs, but a Ziploc bag of A of like of A. Yeah, so I've gone through some jigs to find the ones that I really like. So that's cool. Just gotta buy a hand, buy a buy a hand 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 buy a handful, try them out, and buy a few buckets from home from home from home depot to <laughs> the other ones <laughs> yeah yeah very good thanks a lot for the phone call this morning all right hey let's run to the text had a great one standing by for taro pull the phone back up here this one says taro i uh, really <coughs> always enjoy fishing on the liberty and your crew is so top notch uh curious if you could run down what maintenance you guys do for the boat what uh and if there's anything that we could expect to see new as passengers in 2024 that's from steven and mission viejo steve mission viejo the very very good question safe safety is always first so we are on every year we up we up we upkeep our life-saving equipment our life rafts our 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 fire extinguishers our emergency systems so all of that is done and checked every year and also periodically throughout the year Um, as far as what we're going to do this off season not a whole lot um besides the safety stuff uh mainly because when we 
first rebuilt the boat in 2016. Out of the five years that Fisherman's Landing had had, had it with 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 us, um, we did a lot of work in those five years. So we don't have much to do the next few years. Um, my, my, minus a few of the egress stuff from our coast 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 guard, but. Um, we don't have a whole lot of differencing, like as far as what passengers are going to notice, except for just we're going to keep it clean and make sure everyone has a nice plat, 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 platform to fish on. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, let's jump back on the phone, Rick. You got it. Paulina from Temecula is up next here on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Paulina. Good morning, guys. How are you? Hi, Hi Paulina. Paulina. Hey, good to hear from you. Hi, Taro. I just called to say one thing I wanted to say hi to Pete. Um, hey, Paulina. Because I was the first female on this show. That's right. Hey, yeah, so, it's many, um, many years ago. Many, many years ago. And look where we're at today. It's amazing. That's but so I rad. just wanted, yeah. I called to give a shout out to um, I just, we fished the boat many times and we've had the best time and great staff, great burgers, and great fishing. Just a great boat. They're like family. Thank you, Paulina. So, I, yeah, and now you have a new job, me. Paulina, right? I'm working for the Independent Sport Fishing. Yeah. And yeah. so if there's anyone that wants to book a trip, uh, we have a couple openings on our uh, 16th day in January. Um, it's coming up soon. But we also um, have one spot on our other trip, January 25th. And, um, or any trip, just give me a call at area code 619-838-2997 and I'll be able to help you. We were so excited to hear that you were going to be helping the guys out at Independence. Such a perfect person for the oh, job. Yeah. I mean, you, you guys love to fish and love this industry and are so personal. And just, man, what an awesome addition to the team uh, with the Independence. You are just the, the right the right person for the job, no doubt. And we're really excited and ha- very, very happy for and, you. And everybody's been telling me what a fantastic job you've been doing, too, Paulina. So keep up the great yeah. work. Oh, that's well, I'm honored to work with all of you guys because you know we've you guys are like have been family of ours forever. So um, yeah, I'm honored to be here. It's it's amazing. Yeah, Great a life. lot of years with Let's Talk Hook Up and be our original uh, lady caller, that's cool. Paulina, from, <laughs> Paulina from Temecula. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't know. I didn't know yeah. that. That's cool. Oh yeah, you answered the phone a bunch yeah, of times. Right. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, Merry Christmas, Paulina. That's awesome news. Nice to hear from you. Merry, Merry Christmas, Paulina. Thanks Merry for Christmas, the call. Charles. Tell that Christmas as well. I will for sure. <laughs> All right, that's, that's right. Cool. Hey, here, uh, another uh, old timer here, shall we say? John Kukta uh, hey. taps in here. He says, "Hey guys, fished the Liberty for the first time last year in Tuna Wars. As a long range guy, I'm always blown away with the crew, the cleanliness, Sarah and the galley, long range quality on a day boat. Uh, and I'll see you again this year. Awesome. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. You're doing Tuna Wars again. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it's it's end of June, I think. At the end of June. June. Yeah. I, I don't have the dates off the top, top, top of my head, but it's a, it's a great trip because just, just like how Mike said, the you, you, you know, the kids win, um, and yes, we are in comp, we are in competition with everybody, but it, it's, it's one, it's one of those things where def, definitely the kids will win at the end of the day, and it's just fun to go out and support and have the guys from Tuna Wars come, 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 come out and. Um, the last few years, we've been doing this big fish thing, weighing the three biggest fish. But right. I think Tim, Tim, uh, Tim B- B- Baker and the guys were talking about trying to do a point system, and you know, this big fish fishing, everyone gets wrapped, kind of wrapped, right. wrapped, wrapped up in it. But there's been other fishing that we've kind of driven away from because we're just focused on this bigger fish but i think so we're you gonna, like that idea uh, i think we're going to be doing a point system for this year he i'm not up sure if, if if it's set in stone but will i be, be able to actually just go fishing for fish and not just specifically for giant ones so yeah. every everybody will be able to catch stuff hopefully and have and go and have the opportunity to not just stare at a kite in the air well you've had such long you know you've had 
had so much your background, long range fishing and American angling, those things. I mean, that's though, catching those big ones. It's trophy hunting, it's and I mean, not, hunting, not yeah. everybody catches one. That's exactly. just that's just the nature of the beast. And you, everybody has an opportunity, and that's what you're doing, and that's how trophy hunting works. You yeah. know, you you know, it's a you said it in the beginning of the show, the high risk, high reward thing. Like if you're lucky enough to get that bite, it, mm-hmm. it can be a fish of a lifetime, and all those cliche things you're supposed to say, but. The downside to big fish fishing is not everyone's going to get one, and likely not everyone's going to get a bite. Yeah, and the timing has to be perfect. You know, the timing has to be perfect. You know, the weather and the moon and the air area. There's so many key factors in big fish fishing. Um, and if we just go fishing, you know, we'll fish for whatever's biting and have kind of have the point sis, 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 system, and we'll be able just to go fish. And That's every, a good idea. And then everybody have a chance to, you know, pull on stuff and just be able to fish with your regular tackle. And, and so. with, uh, you, with you being, a, is it a three-time reigning champion for Tuna Wars? I think that's what we're yeah, at. Yeah. Uh, you, you, with the point system, you're going to take four? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> I, no doubt. Maybe. maybe. Well, we'll we're, we, we, we will definitely strive for it. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to join. Home um, Taro. Guaranteed Yeah, win. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to join the team uh, at Tuna Wars, I, I think Bob uh, will be back on with you. I think, I'm again hoping so. Yeah, uh, what a cool guy. Yeah. He's fun. Yeah. I, I didn't get to drive this last one because yeah. we had some stuff to do, but, but uh, Nebel drove. And, yeah. They everyone but, said Bob is great, and I yeah. met him for a quick minute, and he's an awesome, awesome dude. Yeah, RolloKids dot org. Uh, look into it and grab a ticket because they always sell out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's jump back in the phone. All right, you got it. How about this time we talk to Mike calling us from Torrance this morning? Good morning, Mike. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, thank you very much. Good morning. I want to thank all the boats and all the captains that we fished with this year. I want to let thanks Let's Talk Hookup. Looking for another successful year next year. Uh, looking forward to fishing the Liberty. You guys take care and Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry right, Christmas. Thanks, Mike. thanks very much for the call. All right, right. Hey, I had a great text that kind of panned into what we were talking about before, and that says, Hey, Taro, I know Sarah's cheeseburgers are amazing, but could you talk a little bit about your crew? As I feel they're equally amazing in their own way. They're friendly, professional, and super confident and amazing at their jobs. They always make the Liberty super fun to go on, and it always impresses me that a group of gentlemen can do so well in the full day environment. That's from Bill and Lucadia. All of, all of our crew is great. They, they've, 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 they've all either been friends or worked together for mul- for mul- multiple years even before the liberty was was even thought thought was was even thought thought uh thought of so ha- having all them on the boat is definitely what makes it um you know my my myself i hide in the wheelhouse for 11 hours of the day drive 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 driving the boat so de- definitely the crew are the faces that you guys see on a Daily and hour and 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 an hour and an hourly basis. So they they are what makes the boat what yeah. it is. So so um, speaking of um, the uh, tuna wars, uh, Mike Lum's listening and he's got the details here. Ooh, so reception is the twenty third of June at uh, Dana Landing. There trip departs the evening of the twenty fourth of June and the weigh in is on the twenty sixth. If you want to go on the trip, you you email Howard at RolloKids dot org howard at rollo kids dot org for information and more information and captain bob cook will be back on the liberty with hopefully taro or awesome. Eagle, or both of them on the phone <laughs> yeah. right we don't know <laughs> yeah we'll we'll see hey uh i have a, a, a great text here uh and this is from uh john in san diego he says uh is what el nino effect is going to be on fishing this winter we know we're in in an El Nino, according to the scientists, and the water is definitely warmer than normal. How do you see that affecting our, our, our winter and spring fishing? I think winter and spring fishing, it, it kind of might be a wet winter. You know, we kind of will have may, maybe some some of these storms, and uh, which we need, definitely. Yep. Um, but I think it might just kind of, it might be a little cooler trend. Going, going, going into spring and going into summertime, it might, it might be a cooler trend and which, which, you know, will, might bring up, might bring back some of the fish that we have not seen in a little while. Maybe that yelltail along the coast or, you know, uh, maybe the black and silvers like we always been talk, talk, talking about in the long fins, but I, I think we might be going into a cooler trend in a little winter, uh, a lit, a little bit of a wetter winter. 
Okay. So. And uh, do you see the bluefin and the elephant coming back next year? You know, I, I will hope that this blue bluefin will come back. It seems like these guys were still catching them. I know the XL had a three had a three day a couple of weeks ago, and they or a week or so ago, and they did really really well. And yeah. um, I, I Brian Kiara was just text was just texting me, and they had some yelltail at Colinette and the Royal. Polaris had some as well, so maybe that yellow tail on the coast will be around. Yeah. So. And there's a lot of these uh, shorter trips right the day after Christmas. I've some, I know uh, some of them yeah. will have the five days, some, and they'll five, probably five be looking trips. at some of that local stuff. Speaking yeah. of that, I know the Shogun had one spot drop off, really? and that thing's been sold out forever. So if somebody wanted the last of last minute day after Christmas fun trip, man, hop on. One spot just popped open on that Shogun uh, trip. Yeah, check ShogunSportFishing.com. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk hookup, including finding out who's going fishing with Captain Taro. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk hook up on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Back in 1979, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They lived in a VW van in the parking lot and sold catamaran sailboats. And over the years, the shop has evolved. They've sold everything from windsurfers to barbecues, paddle boards, and trailers. Here's the point. For over 40 years, my parents, and eventually me, my brother Jared, and sister Ava, have been in the business of fun and making memories on the water with friends and family. If something's in the shop, it's a product we use, are passionate, and knowledgeable about, and want to share with you. We encourage you to come down to our shop, Fast Lane Kayaking on Mission Bay, and check out our huge selection of Hobie Mirage kayaks, accessories, and more. And let's get you on the water. Fishing with friends, enjoying the coast with your family, or exploring mountain lakes in solitude. In other words, having fun and making memories. For your next fishing adventure, check Point Loma Sport Fishing. They offer half-day trips on the Daily Double and full-day trips on the Mission Bell every day. Perfect for novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips on the American Angler, Vagabond, Intrepid, Independence, New Loan, T-Bird, Game Changer, and more. Visit PointLomaSportFishing.com where you can purchase tickets online. Want to go fishing? Point Loma Sport Fishing has you covered. Gamakatsu has always been the name in fish hooks, but now they're making a name in fillet knives. Custom designed Gamakatsu fillet knives feature G grip handles for secure grip. Built with 420J2 stainless steel and a diamond like carbon finish to retain the edge and resist rust. The Gamakatsu fillet knife comes in a variety of shapes and sizes and even comes with a durable sheath for protection. Gamakatsu also makes amazing everyday carry knives too. Get Gamakatsu knives at your local tackle retailer or at gamakatsu.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Okay, it's time to find out who's going fishing a full day trip on board the Liberty. Tara's going to do us the honors of the coin. And we have a caller winning today. Congratulations, Albert in La Jolla. You are going fishing on a full day on board the Liberty. Man, you are so stoked. Yeah, you are for sure. Taro, what a great show. Thank you very much for having uh, me, guys. Thank you. And uh, always a fantastic experience people have on the Liberty. We're so proud to represent you here on the Let's Talk Hookup because we know when we send people on the Liberty, they're going to love it. No doubt. Thank you. Merry Christmas to everyone. How do we book a trip, charter, a book ahead of time? How do we do all that? Is the schedule up? Our open party schedule will uh, be up after the first of the year at fishermanslanding.com. And if anyone's in- interested in charters, they're more than welcome to, e- to email the boat at libertysportfishingsd at gmail.com. Libertysportfishingsd at gmail.com. And uh, just say, hey, I want to I wanna get a charter. Yep. 
And I want to go fishing. And then we'll talk. We'll go and talk some dates, and we'll uh, specialize your trip. All right, perfect. And again, uh, for open party and uh, like the Let's Talk hookup trips, it's at Fisherman's Landing. Fisherman's Landing. Just watch, watch it, and we'll keep you posted here on Let's Talk hookup too when the schedules go up. Thanks, Taro. Thank Merry you very Christmas much, guys. to Merry, you Merry and Christmas. Gina and uh, the family, and look forward to that. And, and good uh, luck, Gina. Merry Christmas. Yeah, good luck <laughs> with the new baby. Yeah. Um, uh, and thanks to Christian, and Merry Christmas to Christian for all he does on the board and the phone there. Appreciate all his help. And of course, Adam, our main man on the Let's Talk Hookup app. Thanks, Adam. And of you out there, thank you very much very much for listening and being a part of Let's Talk Hookup family. And we'll be back tomorrow morning. It's the Christmas Spectacular tomorrow morning. You know what that means. Your best takes, your texts, your phones. Uh, Do it all tomorrow. we got a huge list of prizes, thousands of dollars of prizes. We'll see you tomorrow morning right back here on the Marty 1090 ESPN Radio and the Let's Talk Hookup app.